some goals. We have goals. Things that I want to get done this year. And what other way to do it than to track my progress? And what other way to keep me accountable than to embarrass myself on the interwebs every day? Exactly. So, I've got a list of goals that I want to accomplish. And I try to keep these goals somewhat vague and somewhat attainable. And I have them in different aspects of my life. And yeah, so we're going to get ready for this New Year's Eve party that I'm going to go to. And try to keep myself held accountable for the next 365 days. And we'll come back in a year and see what I've done slash not done. Um, so, I'll start with priorities. Uh, so, the first big thing on there is health goals. Um, I'm turning 30 this year. And uh, by health goals... It, there's a lot in that <laughs> it's like multiple things like i have to make doctor's appointments or stuff um you know just adulting things but also i want to eat better i want to exercise more um <laughs> going up the stairs should not work me out as much as it does at work but it does and i want to feel better when i walk i don't want to so just in general i just want to feel better and in order to do that, gotta eat better, gotta create uh, healthier habits, and exercise more. So, and exercising can be fun. It could just be going for a hike with friends, or going for a walk, or playing tennis, or pickleball. So, I'm not defining working out like, oh, I have to go to the gym three times a week. No, um, that's not really my life. Um, there's I just wanna go home and do things instead, so. Um, yeah, make doctor's appointments, and eat better, work out. That's easy enough. I say that, but it's probably the thing that's been the hardest for me my whole life. Um, but yeah. And then we want to, finances, finances is the next, but you know, financing is a really big deal for me. I want to start saving money more. Um of things I want to do and the things I want to do cost money so I have to save money and stop spending money I have a tendency to want things and instead of just holding out and making it a list that people can pick from it for different events of my life I buy it I'm one of those people that if I want it I buy it and I don't question it see it I like it I want it I buy it. I got it um so yeah in order to do that um, so yeah, I want to save more, stop spending. I have a really bad tendency to buy clothes and other stuff. I'm not telling myself it's no spend January because there's already things in January I know I'm going to want to buy. And I don't care, I'm going to buy them still. Um, but <laughs> I'm going to be more intentional about the things I buy and get and bring into my life. So um save more spend less that's essentially what it is i'm trying to keep these things like i said i'm trying to keep them big um because i feel like if i make them super detailed like i need to save five thousand dollars by the end of the year no i can't tell myself that because if i don't make if i don't save a hundred dollars by the end of january i will cry and i can't do that i could probably save a hundred dollars by the end of january but again being intentional about the things I'm doing, not stressing myself out so much. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I have career goals. So um, I just had my review at work, and my boss and I have been talking about where I see myself in the future, in the company, in my own life, everything like that. And it was really nice, and I like that we were on the same page, and they. <clears throat> gave me some ideas of things to look forward to or look into uh, to be able to accomplish those goals. So it was great. Um, but in order to accomplish those goals, there's some stuff I gotta do. I gotta start building more skill sets that are in my industry. And I've been working on that. Um, I wanna do more. So yeah, a lot of that has to do with myself. I'm just sitting down, teaching myself, learning more. 
which isn't a bad thing at all. So yeah. extracurricular stuff so extracurricular um so um i am volunteering time and money into a local pageant system that i feel very passionate about and i'm really excited and i want to do the best that i can at that job um, so my goals for that are to do the best that I can and be an asset and uh, be the mentor that I'm going in for. So I'm hoping I've got a lot of um, things to learn for that and I don't know how it's going to turn out. Um, I have no idea. There's, so there's a lot of learning for this coming year. I'm going to be doing um, about myself um, and all these things like for my career and my extracurricular activities coming together will no matter what benefit me so even though like the pageant systems may not go along with my like real life career there is a lot in that that I'll be doing that are in line with my real life career so um, I plan on like I said just in general that is not the right one. This is the right one. So yeah, working on more career-driven uh, self-improvement and even in my extracurricular activities. Um, traveling. So more on that extracurricular train is I love traveling and I want to go to Italy this year and in order to go to Italy I gotta save money and plan it. And so working on that. Gotta get this uh trip out of the group chat and irl so yeah right, um fashion so um <coughs> i've been trying to get really more serious about my personal style and um my only thing stopping me from achieving those personal style goals are myself and the inability to get rid of stuff i have so much stuff and some of it I just feel bad getting rid of, others I'm just not ready to part with. Um, some stuff is like what I need, I just don't know how to style it or wear it. So it's just been doing a lot of like, I gotta be mean in my closet. Oh yeah, so I gotta be mean to myself, mean in my closet, just so that I can be more serious about the clothes I want to wear like I know I love classic simplistic style but I also like grunge um alt looking so I, best way I physically can describe my personal style is Ralph Lauren but make it goth that is the best way to explain it um you can interpret that in any way you want um but that's my like the things I love the most I love watching people have fun with very classic silhouettes and at the same time express themselves a little bit more edgy so and earlier i talked about how i have a tendency to buy clothes i buy even though there are things that are like simple i do tend to buy like cheaper clothes because i even though i am very bougie i will go out of my way and buy expensive stuff um if i'm not sure i like it i will buy the cheapest version of it to see if i like it and then convince myself later on to repurchase the more expensive item later um after the cheaper one like breaks or gets ro like rid of or messed up um so yeah that that exists um but yeah so Um, I want to be more intentional about what I buy and again this goes also back to the finances of being like more intentional about like stop buying just things but if I need it buy it um, and then this brings us into the next section of my life so like cleaning and organizing 
um i have a tendency to make piles and keep those piles and those piles get bigger and bigger and bigger and my mindset gets more and more lost into it and it's a really really big downer um wash these hands before moving on to the next um but yeah so i want to be more aware of the clutter and where i'm putting it and start being more intentional at putting things away um by creating homes for things and that they um and getting rid of, rid of things i have no space for i have a whole top shelf that i'm staring at right now and there's a lot of stuff there that i don't use anymore that i can get put away give away uh sold um just in general or rehomed into different spaces that are more um would allocate better there and i could put more things away um but i can't do that <coughs> so i gotta get rid of stuff in order to put more things away so again it's creating space for things i have uh and getting rid of things i have no space for so once we do that we'll be in a better spot and we're just putting this eyeshadow on my face and then um yeah, being more aware of my clutter, getting rid of stuff. Okay. And then personal development. So personal development is a little bit different. Um, these are just different things like skills and things that I want to do uh, for myself. I want to practice Italian more. Um, I took a semester of Italian in college and I speak pretty broken Italian. And I bought Rosetta Stone last year and I've been buying literature and stuff to help me learn Italian better. Uh, but in order to speak the language, I have to study the language and yeah, so I need to put, there's a lot of studying going on this year. So, but I want to get more serious about my Italian learning. I don't like this chapstick. I like my bougie one that's in my purse. Um, and then, um, oh, I want to make more time to read. I love reading and I'm constantly buying books. But I'm making no time for myself to read at all, which is a shame because, like I said, I really enjoy reading. Um, I used to get in trouble in school for reading too much. So, um, but yeah, I want to read more this year. Uh, my friend actually got me a uh, reading journal so I could keep track of books I read. So we're going to do better. I want to do better with it. And like I said, I also want to do better watching my favorite shows um because there's a lot of shows that i've started and i haven't finished and i just need to kind of make more time for me so that is the overall goal my my resolutions for 2024 um and like i said i really am trying to make these things more um they're they seem pretty big um, no lies, I know they're big, but, um, I created it that way so that they could fit more into my lifestyle. Because like I said, I'm not gonna cry if I don't save a shit ton of money, but I'll be happy that I saved something. Um, like, I just want to be more intentional about these things. Um, And I want to lose weight, but I don't want to label it like, oh, I gotta lose a certain amount of pounds because then I will never lose the weight. But if I just say I want to be more active and I need to be more intentional about the words intentional, I need to be more intentional um, about what I eat. I need to be more aware and conscious because it's not about me going out of my way and be like, oh, I need to, no, I'm not going to take things out of my diet. Um, like, I love sweets, but I can limit the amount of sweets I have. Um, I can be, again, this is, again, being more aware 
about stuff and just wanted to do better be better be the best i can be that is the goal um but yeah so my hopes um and i'm hoping that i could get all this accomplished in 2024 and it like on paper it looks like a lot but in my head a lot of it falls back onto each other like uh trying to spend less with me and i'll be more intentional intentional about what i buy for my closet wanting to be mean in my closet and being more uh worried about my personal style and having it convey to the people around me um is important and would all like so all of it kind of goes together so my organization, my personal fashion, my finances all work into each other because I, and my organization, yeah, I said that, all work into each other because I want things that th those aspects combined work with. So, but yeah. Being more intentional. Um, oh yeah, I want to do this every day. It's the goal, but I think it'll start weekly and then turn into daily eventually maybe we will remain weekly and maybe there'll only be 52 videos instead of 365 or maybe there'll be a little median in between but i don't know so we'll see um but yeah i want to track it to make myself uh so i can see progress i'm a visual person so i like seeing things so we'll I so where is Yep, so there's a lot of things I want to do and see in the next year. Um, yeah. These are the mingles. Everything broken down. How I want to see it. What I want to do. I lost my glue. How did I lose this glue? I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. You are ready for New Year's Eve. It is sports themed, by the way. I'm not just wearing this because I like sports that much. No, it's a sports themed party. But yeah, so goals for the year. You can join me if you want. You can pass on by if you want to. That's entirely up to you. And that's what we're doing. And that's how it's going to be. So until next time, bye.